welcome guys uh, now i will tell you a little uh, story behind uh, ac and dc system uh, in the start of 19th century uh, ac system was dec uh, discovered by nikola tesla i think most probably you all know uh, you know know this guy uh, but the another guy is more famous thomas edison who who basically invented the bulb so Thomas Edison was saying that DC system is more important, more useful for transmission and distribution of electrical systems. And Nikola, Nikola Tesla was in favor of AC system. It was in 19th century. So uh, there was also uh, basically a distribution contract. Uh, a company wanted to give a distribution contract. Uh, generation distribution contract to to, to uh, one of the uh, contractor and both uh, submitted submitted their proposals AC or DC uh, Nikola Tesla versus Thomas Edison. At the end, um, what happened that Nikola won the um, debate and AC system was approved for transmission of uh, a remarkable distribution network. DC also was used in very limited way uh, in the uh, in one of some of the towns by uh, Thomas Edison. So in this way, the AC was started. The main reason, the main reason uh, this battle was won by Nikola Tesla was invention of transformer. So transformer made it possible uh, to uh, to step up the transformer, step down the transformer, and it's, it's really healthy. It's, it's a stationary device almost maintenance free so you know, uh, unlikely like a motor or uh, rotating parts so it's really uh, won the won the race okay tesla uh, uh, the decision battle took place in 1893 at the chicago world fair on one side the celebrated inventor thomas edison on the other the former employee nikola tesla so this was a little story and uh, another aspect of the story is uh, okay Nikola Tesla won the uh, Nikola Tesla basically won the war but now again you all must be hearing about the DC transmission so DC transmission is again coming in DC this is very interesting that uh, uh, Edison thinking and Edison philosophy is coming back again so uh, again the question is why so the the answer is there are many answer one of the answer is in AC system there are uh, there is capacitance XC of the transmission line which is equal to 1 upon 2 pi FC X, XC capacitive reactance another is magnetic reactance XL and this is creating big issues in long uh, transmission line. The inductance is very high and the capacitance is high and which is limiting the uh, current. Again, uh, uh, it is difficult to transmit. And, and, and the other side, uh, the DC system, the electronic equipment is become cheaper. Um, technology has advanced a lot. And uh, uh, DC is become again favorable. So these are the reasons that DC is again coming back in this uh, in the picture. It, there are many other reasons you can have a separate lecture on this because DC is flexible, coupling is possible in DC and there are many other advantages. If you want to connect different countries, you can use a DC link. Uh, in AC, you have to maintain frequency, you have to maintain a phase angle, synchronization, many things. But in, and DC give you the facility and also the long um, uh, long transmission lines DC is, is uh, at the upper level so DC is coming uh, back again so here uh, I have put one picture to increase your interest uh, here you can see Tesla with his magnifying transmitter Colorado Spring 1899 in photo taken for his 19th century magazine article this photo was a double exposure Tesla was not actually in the room when the device was operating so what does it mean that when they operated the device and took one picture and then again he was sitting uh, uh, without operation and they, they merged both photos so yeah uh, it, it means that you should not expose yourself to such Tesla devices in the lab or if you find some chance it's not safe 
so this is the tesla and tesla was also uh, working on in this picture you can say tesla was also working on transmission of uh, power wirelessly through air so he was also successful partially and this uh, maybe after dc transmission you will see this wireless transmission will come again so this was about the tesla okay edison so what happened to edison edison in the late 1880s edison developed a cost effective mean of generating dc electricity and suit of related devices including motors meters to measure dc energy consumed however there was a problem there was no way back then to convert dc voltage to the higher or lower values to be safe for use in homes and factories the dc generator were designed to produce electricity at low voltages the downside was that this mean that losses during transmission from the generator to the consumer were high edison judged that to be an acceptable compromise but it limited the distance between the generator and consumer to less than a kilometer or two so here as i told you uh, uh, thomas edison was sporting dc so he was really enthusiastic that i will get this dc system approved so he prepared a dc generator he prepared a dc transmission and he prepared the dc motor everything was on dc and he want to convince really he put his big effort but there was an issue because uh, at that time the electronic power electronic was not that modern and so he, he was not able to step up the voltage because as i told you i score all losses <coughs> i score all losses i was very high because if you uh, at the other end if you increase the voltage to reduce i square r losses so there is no no way to step the voltage down at the distribution end or the at user user end so at the end he have accepted or uh, and the system he designed was practically possible less than a kilometer or maximum by 2 km so at the end edison was convinced that it that this system has limitations thank you uh, uh at the end transformer won the ac system so in the other camp tesla had a secret weapon known as transformer it is a simple arrangement of iron cores uh, and copper winding that allow voltage to be converted up or down the limitation is that the transformer only work with ac electricity Tesla won the weapon. The reason was transformer, as we are, have learned already. So, what is a transformer? It's a very simple thing. It consists of iron core, copper windings, and that allow voltage to be converted up or down. It, but it can't work on DC. So, here I will ask you to, <coughs> on the paper, uh, for the students of beginning level, that just think that what will happen if you connect dc to the transformer and why transformer is not working on dc this is a question don't just think out of the box uh, write your answers so it will increase your uh, concept level okay with transformers tesla could boost the generator output to 1000 of volts for low loss transmission over long distances then cut the voltage down again to safe values for final delivery to the consumer so this was the tesla Okay. The skirmishes continued during the lead up to the Chicago event till victory was declared for Tesla AC camp. They were awarded the contract to electricity electrify the fair. There was a competition to electrify the fair and Tesla won it. From there it was all AC with definitive stake in the ground being the 1896 electrification of street lights in the city of buffalo with ac supply supplied from hydroelectric generators at niagara fall so the first uh, in the world the first competition was to supply electricity to a fair a fair that was happening and it was won by tesla again <coughs> next time the street lights again ac supply and generation was from niagara falls 
AC distribution of electricity has uh, regained supreme Messi for more than 100 years. So electricity of AC distribution 100 years remain like a king. But a quiet insurrection is taking place in our mind, midst. Our computers, machines, LEDs and electronic cars all run on DC. So again, uh, Edison, you can't ignore Edison. Your laptops, your machines, your LED TVs, electric cars, everything is now on DC. And at the extreme of high power distributing electricity thousands of kilometers <clears throat> from one region to the other, engineers have discovered that the losses from a million volt transmission line are lower if it carries DC current rather than AC current. So as I told you, uh, in DC, the two factor inductance, capacitive inductance and the react, uh, inductive reactance both are just gone and losses are less. So DC transmission is more effective. Now we have a way how to uh, change the DC supplies. Okay, once again the transformer is the secret weapon but this time operating on DC, these new transformer take the form of electronic circuits that convert DC currents up and down the spectrum from a few volts to million or more, lighter and smaller than traditional ones. DC transformers make it easier to integrate wind and solar electricity into grid and they reduce the likelihood of failure cascading from one electricity generation region to another one. So DC transmission number one, the losses are less. Number two, DC transmission are easy to connect. They provide flexible connectivity. The, uh, the more generation is now a renewable. Again, the renewable, if you use DC transmission and connectivity, it's easier to connect DC uh, renewables. So these are all the advantages of DC systems. So thank you very much.